We want to take the time to share something with you real quick. Right now we're currently in Homa. We're getting, we're taking some time to, to get the mind of God concerning our next step. But I want you to think about something very, very carefully. Apostle Young has a passion. I hate religion with a passion. Religion has did, did nothing more than to put people into bondage, give them a false sense of security, have occupied their time, but have not delivered on the goods that the Bible says is for us. Hallelujah. I want you to think about what I'm going to tell you carefully right now. People are dying needlessly because they're not under any type of protection or any type of covering. And I want you to hear me carefully. God is a generational God. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And for those of you that are born again believers, you have the ability to cover your seed, your kids, your grandkids, great grandkids, those that are part of your sphere of influence under kingdom jurisdiction, under kingdom, under God's kingdom protection. You need to know that, that the people of God, hallelujah, that you have a covenant of protection. And, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. This separates us from every other religion out there. When you pray for your children, do more than just pray one of those wimpy prayers. Oh, please, Lord, cover them. <laughs> well, okay, that may have its place. But there, there are times and seasons you need to decree some things over them. Now, out of the church pedigree that I came out of, I was used to hearing testimonies of God's supernatural protection over the lives of people. Bullets were stopped in chambers, stuff like that. And in the years that we used to have service, hallelujah, I've seen God's divine protection over the lives of people that was connected to the things of the supernatural. I want you to hear me carefully. God is birthing something that goes beyond normal religion. God is birthing a supernatural move of his spirit. And we believe in God's divine protection. Make no mistake about it. If you do not have any point of reference for that, that's okay. But do not water down the gospel for the sake of your lack of experience. Hallelujah. When we read through the Bible, Hallelujah. We see a lot of instances where God supernaturally came and intervened for his chosen. Now you may say some other things in there, okay. According to your faith, be it so unto you. If, if you believe that, 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 God, that, that, that the devil can take you out of here before your time and season, go ahead with your bad self. But for those of you that believe that God can protect you long enough to finish your kingdom assignment, hallelujah. According to your faith, be it so unto you. Those of you that have kids and children that are going in the wrong direction, in addition to praying a prayer, Lord, Lord, cover them, I want you to start to decree some things over them. And I want you to start to lay hands on your kids. I want you to, to decree and declare some things over your seed and release the anointing that God's put on the inside of you over them. Hallelujah. I feel that right now. They don't have to be at the mercy of people wielding knives, guns, bombs, and these things. This is an opportunity to see that the supernatural covenant that we have is real. Hallelujah. I want somebody to agree with me right now that, 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 that your seed, that, that, that your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, hallelujah, are not at the mercy of the devil. Claim that they have dominion over every power of enemy. Claim that they have dominion over bullets, knives, guns, sticks, Accidents of all kinds. People taken out in car accidents. No, the devil is a lie. No, take authority. Claim dominion over your seed right now in the name of Jesus. Declare that they're under God's divine protection, under God's divine jurisdiction in the name of Jesus. And we're going to come in agreement with you right now. We speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. We release the supernatural in your home right now. The supernatural in your sphere of in, I mean, your sphere of influence. That includes your job too. That includes your neighborhood, and yes, that includes your city as well. Hallelujah! We want to take back the airway from the devil. The devil is is putting through stuff through internet, through TV, through radio, and we as Christians sit quietly, sing and singing praise songs, and that's okay. 
But we need to release some authority into the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm passionate. I'm passionate about taking dominion, kingdom dominion, in this three-dimensional world. And God is activating people in an army of believers that will manifest healing, that will manifest deliverance, that will cast out devils, and that will speak to the sphere of jurisdiction. And we've already started that here in Homa, Louisiana. Yes, we have. We've done, we're doing that all through Southeast Louisiana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're seeing protection from storms. Yes, I said that. We're seeing supernatural divine protection. Hallelujah. And we release a heavenly place for those of you listening right now. We declare it in your life right now. We declare that something life-changing takes place in your life today. And we pray that, that a fire is activated over you right now in the name of Jesus. That the supernatural presence of God will intervene in your situations right now. In the name of Jesus. We pray God's blessing over your life here and now. And everything that the enemy meant for evil, God is going to make it good. This is Apostle Young talking with you. We're looking forward to hearing from you real, I mean, again real soon. Remember this. Declare with me ridiculous, hilarious, roll upon the ground, laughable favor. Until the next time, God bless.